Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name of course is Resonant and welcome back to another Mountain Blade Bannerlord mod overview. Now I've been doing quite a few of these lately. Um, I've been going through the mods on the Mountain Blade Bannerlord mod DB page and I've looked through them and the ones that interested me I've been telling you guys about. Now the mod owners on the most part have been saying uh, have been actually asking me to do this um, but some of them They've just caught my eye and I really wanted to do that. And one of these was the 10,000 BC Calvadia mod. Now, before I get into this, obviously it's not released yet. I need to keep stressing that. Mountain Blade Bannerlord isn't even out yet. So how can the mod be released yet? Um, some people don't seem to understand that. Basically what this kind of, I guess, series is sort of doing is putting these mods out there. It's building up the hype for these mods and it's... And it's helping the mod developers on their own because obviously if you get more traffic towards a mod then they're going to want to develop it even more they're going to get more encouraged to add more things in they get more suggestions as well and of course like in the last one i said they need more team members to help develop this mod um there hasn't been said anything on this 10,000 bc mod but i'm sure they'll always need more help so of course like every mod i do on mountain blade banner mod go check out the mod dp page there will always be a link in the description go and show your support Go and ask them a few questions. I'm sure they'll be very happy to answer them. So, let's get straight into this. Now, as you can tell by the title, the Calradia 10,000 BC mod is set in Calradia 10,000 BC. I know, it's a revelation. And, um, of course, this is this is caveman times. This is, We've not seen this in Mountain Blade before. This is why it really caught my eye. I have really no idea how they're going to make this work, especially because we don't know how Bannerlord's going to really work at the moment. But it's going to re be really cool if they can get it to work as they say they want it. So this is before civilization itself, and it's going to really help us see how ancient cultures worked. And they're really trying to get as much realism as much as they can, obviously, into this mod. Although it is set in Kairadia, of course, is a fantasy place. They want to try and get as much realism in the point where it makes sense it's not going to be really out there so you're not going to have loads of swords shields and arm and stuff like that because it has to work with the mountain blade saying it has to work with Kairadia in mountain blade 2 bannerlord but obviously it has to be realistic to the point where you're not going to think that's stupid why would that even be in the mod so i'm really excited to see what they can do with that what things they can add in and what research they can do um they seem to have done a lot of research with this mod already it's going to be really interesting to see and obviously i'm going to look up a bit more about the prehistoric 10,000 bc kind of place because i don't know too much about that stuff but before this mod comes out i'm going to have a look at it and of course we're going to be seeing a lot of gameplay on these mods on this channel so what is going to be in this mod then of course, it is set in 10,000 BC, which is actually 11,000 years prior to the events of Bannerlord, as it is said on the mod DB page. And there's going to be some certain new things that are going to be implemented this mod. One thing that really interested me is there's not going to be any currency. Now, you all know in Mountain Blade Warband, and they'll be in Mountain Blade Bannerlord, we've seen those screenshots and gameplay, that of course you have gold. And with that gold, you can buy things, you can buy armor, you can buy weapons, you can buy food for your people. Of course, you have to pay your army as well. You have to pay for the upkeep of your towns and villages. You have to pay for improvements on them. You have to pay for customizing your armor. And maybe even paying for, like, paying off armies so they don't attack you. Paying off looters or even hiring people to go and assassinate someone. And that all revolves around one thing. That all revolves around currency. So it really interested me when it says on the mod DB page that there won't be any currency in this mod. So how is it going to work? And what they want to do is kind of adding into the realism thing. There wasn't really currency back then. People didn't really pay with money. So what they kind of want to do is add in bartering. If you don't know what bartering is, it's more trading. So let's say if you want someone to do something for you, if you want, I don't know, a weapon, a club, you have to barter it, you have to trade it with something else, maybe with food, maybe with resources. And of course that's going to be make it a lot more difficult than normal Mountain Blade. Because normal Mountain Blade, you can sell practically anything and you will end up with the same thing. You will always end up with gold. You can sell furs, you can sell food, you can sell slaves. And all those three things are completely different. 
but they'll all result in the same thing. They'll all result in you getting gold. But if you have bartering, if you have trading, maybe someone's only going to want, let's say if you want to buy a fur coat, Maybe the only thing you can actually trade that with is grain. Maybe you can't trade it with something else like a slave or something like that. But that's going to be really interesting to see because you're going to have to get the right thing to trade with whatever the person wants that's selling you it, basically. It's going to add a massive level of difficulty to the mod. But like it says on the mod DP page, back then, 10,000 BC, life was pretty hard. Survivors were pretty low, um, so only the fittest and the best survived. So it's going to add a real level of difficulty to the Mountain Blade Bannerlord game, and I'm really excited to see what they can do with that. Nomads. Nomads are going to be a thing that's in this mod, and they're going to be a really interesting addition to it, as they'll be moving all the time. Obviously, many of you know nomads don't stay in one place, they don't settle somewhere. They don't build their civilization there. They're constantly on the move, constantly trying to get around, um, finding new places, finding new lands, new resources, so they can gain wealth in that way. They don't stick to one place all the time, and that's going to be in this mod. And they will have to recruit people from other normal towns and stuff, but they'll have to move with them. So let's say if they go past one town, the nomads will recruit an army from there recruit a few men, they'll move on to the next one, and the next one, and then they'll settle somewhere for maybe a few days, and then move on to the next place. And what this does, is it means they are able to get away from bigger armies, they're able to move places, and gain more resources from other parts of the land, um, because they are always moving around. But also, because they're always moving around, it, it, it definitely limits their protection. It's a bit of a trade-off where you can either decide to stick in one place, have a good fortification, and you will be strong defensively against attackers in sieges and stuff like that. That's why massive castles very rarely fell to oncoming attackers. But if you're moving around all the time, if you're a nomad, you're not going to have very strong defences. Maybe it's a few wooden palisades, but all in all, it's going to be tents and things like that. So, that's going to be very difficult for defending if you decide to become a nomad. And that will give people attacking the offences, the aggressors, a very big advantage against you. So that's going to be a really interesting addition to the mod. I want to see how nomads work and how they're going to implement it into the game. But from the description we've been given, that's a very interesting way of adding it. Now, what are my thoughts on this mod? I'm really excited for this, especially because then nothing has been like this before in Mount Blade. We've not seen anything like this whatsoever. Just imagine it coming into Bannerlord with the new graphics and stuff like that. Having your spears, having your basic clubs and tools and things like that, and fighting off other people, and hunting. Hunting and gathering. I'm really interested to see how much they can implement that into the mod because obviously it was a really massive point of survival will you be able to go out hunting for animals will you have to gather different resources from different places if there's a lot less of buying stuff from places because of course in mountain blade warband if you want food if you want animals if you want armor and stuff like that you have to go and buy them from places because that's not going to be a currency isn't going to be a thing in this mod we have to go and get the raw resources on your own and then trade them but how will you do that Will you, it's just going to be really interesting to me to see going off to hunt boar and things like that. That's, I don't know how that's going to work, how they're going to implement it. But I'm going to make sure I keep you guys updated on this mod and what they add in later on. But overall, yeah, I am really interested to see what they're going to add into this mod. I want you guys to leave down in the comments what you are most excited to see. I, do you guys think this mod's going to work? I'm very sceptical about it, but if they can make it work, I am definitely going to be on board with this. Do you guys think it's going to work? If it does, what are you most excited to see? What things would you like them to add in? And of course, go and show them support on the mod DB page. There'll be a link in the description, as always. Remember to like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Dislike it if you didn't. And subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep you updated on all these Mountain Blade Bannerlord mods and all that good stuff. But until then, I will see you in the next one.